Hi dear friends in this video i will give you the top 5 fast bowling tips that will improve your bowling so watch this video till the end if you want to enhance your bowling skills tip number 1 develop a smooth and repeatable run up run up is a very important part of fast bowling because it gives you the momentum that generates pace in your bowling bowling run up is just like an aeroplane taking off it builds up smoothly and slowly and when it reaches its quickest point it takes off you should also start your run up slowly with smaller steps and then gradually increase your speed with longer strides during the run up your body should lean forward and your arms should stay close to your body your hands should be in motion just above the waist band your head should be still and your eyes should be focused on the target remember that the speed of your run up should neither be too fast nor too slow because if you run too fast you will lose control and if you run too slow you will lose the momentum to generate pace in your bowling so you need a balanced and repeatable run up in order to improve your bowling tip number 2 improve your load up load up is an intermediate step between the run up and the bowling action a proper load up gives the momentum to your bowling action and it also brings consistency in your bowling load up begins with a bound or jump towards the crease you can jump high if you are comfortable with it but the important thing is not just to jump high and come back down you should jump high and move forward at the same time this will build momentum in your bowling action during the load up your bowling arm should be close to your body and your non bowling arm should be pointing towards the target you should keep both the hands in your view if your arms are moving aimlessly during the load up then you will lack consistency i suggest you should record a video of your bowling to know if you are doing it correctly tip number 3 work on your bowling action there are mainly two types of bowling action that you can adopt one is side on action while the other is front on action your bowling action starts with the back foot landing if you are a side on bowler then your back foot should land parallel to the crease at the time of back foot landing your hips and shoulders should be side on and you should look at your target over your front shoulder the main advantage of side on bowling action is that you will generate more pace because of the hip rotation dennis lilly and shweb akhtar are the two famous fast bowlers who used to bowl with side on action if you are a front on bowler then your back foot should land pointing down the wicket at the time of back foot landing your hips and shoulders should be open and you should look at your target inside your front arm the main advantage of front on bowling action is that you will be more consistent in your line and length malcolm marshall and andrew flintoff are the two famous fast bowlers who used to bowl with front on action there is another type of bowling action which is known as mixed action mixed action is the combination of side on and front on action if you have a mixed action then i suggest you should modify your action because with mixed action the chances are very high that you will get yourself injured tip number 4 use your non bowling arm effectively in fast bowling the role of the non bowling arm is more important than the bowling arm you should lift your non bowling arm straight and as high as you can and then pull it down as hard as you can the more quickly you pull your non bowling arm down the more quickly your bowling arm will follow which will increase your pace another advantage of effectively using your non bowling arm is that your head will not fall over and your bowling arm will come through straight which will increase your bowling accuracy so you should properly use your non bowling arm in order to improve your bowling tip number 5 you should brace your front leg if you want to bowl fast then you should brace your front leg braced front leg means that at the time of delivery stride your front leg should be fully stretched this will make you organize your action better and you will have big arm leverage which will increase your pace if at the time of delivery stride your front leg is not fully stretched then the chances are high that your action will collapse and you will have minimal arm leverage which will decrease your pace So you should brace your front leg in order to increase your pace. Remember that you should practice hard on these steps so that they become your second nature. Because when you are playing in the middle, 
you should not be overthinking. If you have any question regarding fast bowling or cricket in general, you can ask in your comments. Thank you.